So In Conditions of Fresh Water is um, what we're calling a multimedia black spatial history project. It's based in two sites. One is um, uh, in Alamance County, North Carolina. It's just out a cluster of I think four or five black, uh, historically black and unincorporated communities um, just on the outskirts of uh, Mebane, North Carolina, which is a historically white town, still majority white. Um, and then um, a town, an incorporated black town in Lowndes County, Alabama, which is in the Alabama Black Belt. Torquase Dyson is a um, black visual artist that uh, is out of Brooklyn, um, but she grew up partially in North Carolina and um, also has family roots in Alabama. Um, and I grew up in North Carolina and I have family roots in Alabama so um, it was sort of a, a good match. We spent two weeks um, in um, the cluster of communities outside of Mebane, um, so West End, East End, uh, Buckhorn, Perry Hill, White Level um, and then we were um, and then two weeks in Whitehall. The core um, purpose of the project is really to understand the contemporary environmental challenges of these two places um, through their histories of development. Um, and not only that, um, to really uh, begin to understand um, this concept of uh, black placemaking. There's a conceptualization um, that's, I think, nearly universal and it's really disturbing about um, uh, black places that have been negatively environmentally impacted as kind of throwaway places. Um, black places generally as throwaway places. Um, and I think that um, the perception, that perception is not only wrong, um, but also um, it's important to understand uh, the importance of the types of institutions that have been built in those places. We set up the studio as a kind of living room. The studio is sort of very um, kind of convertible in a lot of ways. It can be used as an art studio, it can kind of be used as a kind of gathering space. So we set it up as a kind of living room um, and we had folks come in uh, to do their oral histories or interviews um, over in the studio over the summer. The end project is really um, it's a sort of archive of uh, oral histories um, and the exhibit itself will have um, photography from the interviews from the, uh, the two places um, and um, will also have the, um, the audio clips from the audio interviews as well.